It's Friday the 13th. <laughs> I think from the beginning, 2020 was saying, <laughs> I got this. Hey, top of the morning to you. It's morning when we <laughs> re record this video. So that's why we say that. But you may be watching it in the afternoon, overnight, evening, whatever. Whatever time of day it is. Insert greeting here. Anyway, this FBTV pod podcast. No, we did that yesterday. If you don't know about our podcast, yeah, we got a podcast we do every week. Uh, we got a slew of them. You can find a lot. Well, you can find them all by going to our website at FreightBrokerTV.com. A lot of things to talk about today if you're a truck driver. And you're going to be up in Idaho on Thanksgiving. Boise Stage Stop is going to be doing it again. 14th year in a row. And actually, I think they did this uh, years ago because when I was driving... Uh, Boy, I, I, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. I mean, 99.999% sure that Boise stage stop on Thanksgiving Day back in the 90s was giving away free Thanksgiving meals to drivers. But anyway, they're doing it again. They're saying it's their 14th consecutive year. So if you're a driver, you got a CDL, you're going to be up uh, in uh, Boise, Idaho. Stop in, Boise Stage Stop on Thanksgiving. Get a free meal. Plus, you can win prizes during the uh, driver appreciation event, so keep that uh, in mind. If you're looking for gifts for Christmas, you know, you get those guys, hard to buy for people. Who do, oh, what, do they want? what can I get them? Get them a coffee mug, a T-shirt, tank top, hoodies. We get all kinds of things on the uh, Freight Broker TV website on our store over there. So uh, check in, check it out, uh, get it ordered, and it will be to you way before Christmas, I'm sure. Anyway, it should be anyway. Uh, what else we got going on? You want to make a comment, you got questions, uh, you want to leave us a message, you can do that at our website, obviously, FreightBrokerTV.com. We have forums on our website, too, you can fill out, and you can even call us. Leave a message on our studio line, 479-668-0213. Well, diesel is up a penny this week. Gas is down two cents. I don't think we need to read anything of that. Now, the purpose of this video today, our main topic at hand, is going to be for brokers, be it new or established, as well as agents. Because this, this affects everyone. Now, the, the reason we're talking about this is simply because up in uh, Minnesota... Over the last week or two, the company up there filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And due to their bankruptcy, it left a lot of trucking companies, and I'm sure brokers, unable to get paid. Now, trucking company, yeah, if they owed you money direct, you know, your, your customer goes out of business and they owe you money direct, well, good luck getting that money. Uh, it just depends on how it's going to work through in bankruptcy court if it's not wrote off 100% that debt. But if you're a broker, you're going to get a double whammy. Not even, not, not, you're not just going to not get paid, you're still going to have to pay the truck. So that can turn into a nightmare scenario. So after I read that article the other day, uh, or yesterday, I thought, we ought to talk about this. What do you do? What do you do? What are your recourses? Well, you really don't have many. What it amounts to is relationship. Back when I was brokering, and any established broker would tell you, you've got to have a good relationship with that person in shipping. Because not only are they giving you the best freight they have available because of that relationship, they're also keeping you up to date about the company, their company. Now, they may be doing this without even knowing they're giving you information about their company. And what I mean by giving you information is simply... They're telling you about the going-ons, the inside politics. Is the company doing good? Are they busy? Are they making money? Or do they have problems? Is there a lot of people being laid off? 
things of that nature. See what I mean? By having those relationships, you're going to hear this and you can kind of make a decision from there. Now, if you're an agent, you can relay that information onto your broker. Now, you know, you may be thinking, hey, man, you know, if they're getting ready to go out, I need to move all the loads I can. So I can make as much money as I can off that customer before they go out. Yes and no. Well, no, shouldn't be no yes in there at all. You are going to be not necessarily committing fraud, but it's going to be kind of not good for your business or your broker's business to keep moving loads for a company you know that might be getting ready to close their doors. Now, here's why as an agent, you don't want to do that, is probably in your broker agent contract, you're still going to be responsible for the commissions paid to you back to your broker. And I know there are some brokers out there that have in their contract that the agent is 100% responsible for 100% of the uh, payment. Meaning if the customer said they're paying you $1,000 to move that load from point A to point B, if the customer don't pay, well, the broker's going to come back on you, the agent, for that 1000 don't ever sign a contract putting yourself in that uh, situation, okay? Yes. Are, should you be responsible for your part of the commission? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's only fair. I mean, your company don't get paid. You shouldn't get paid, bottom line. But what you should be doing here, once you get that information from the customer, pass it on to your broker. Let them know. Let them know your stock with that brokerage will go up tenfold because they know they can count on you to keep them up to date. They know you have their best interest at heart, and you're going to find they're going to have your best interest at heart as well. Now, like I was saying, uh, when I started this conversation a moment ago, I had a customer that uh, a shipper, they were keeping me up to date, and I was able to tell my company, and we were able to... Uh, Get all the money that was owed us before they finally went belly up. So keep that in mind. Now, what if you're the broker? Maybe you've got agents. How do you, how can you tell if the company you're moving freight for, or one of your agents or brokers might be moving freight for, how do you know if things are going to get a little bit flaky? How can you tell? Well, generally, once you get a customer, their payment's going to be pretty regular. You know, if you're getting checks on the 10th, they're going to be coming on the 10th. If you start finding that uh, now you're starting to get checks on the 14th or the 17th or the 20th, in other words, the time from what you used to receive payment for loads is now being stretched, that's kind of a warning sign. You need to keep your eye open on that. You know, maybe lower the credit limit that you have for that customer. But anyway, you got to protect yourself. All right, I want to remind you, we have the FBTV Insider. FBTV Insider, it brings all the content, public content that we place all over the internet. This is the uh, YouTube videos. Uh, it includes our podcast, our uh, past radio broadcast we've done. Everything in one location, even some training information from Tautoa. Right now, uh, RV Transport seems to be the big thing. The full RV Transport training e-workshop is available on the insider if you've been thinking about becoming an rv transporter now keep in mind this is dated a few years ago this information but it still holds true today because it's trucking bottom line but it's available and if you are an insider, now you have to be an insider to get access to that content but you can register for free and have access to all of our public content in one place but if you're an insider, you're going to have access to, I uh, like that RV transport information I told you about. I think right now, this week, we have uh, how to get a contract as a broker agent. If you're new to the industry, how to do it properly. You know, you got to, if you're out there trying to get a contract with a broker, you're, the way you present yourself, that's going to create a perception to that broker. It's going to become their reality. But anyway, we go into detail about that in the video. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, to become an insider, have access to the insider content. It's two ninety nine a month. You can pay for it by the year. It's twenty four ninety five a year or something like that. All right. We are a little late getting this video to you this week, but it's been kind of weird. If you heard the podcast yesterday, you got some of that weirdness. But uh, other than that, <laughs> it's TGIF, man. And so what if it's Friday the 13th? It's been Friday the 13th since January 1st, 2020. Go have a good TGIF. Go have a good weekend. We'll talk to you next week.